Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 36 Java tutorial. We're going to work with our header button uh, and working with our labels and our text area and all that good stuff. Um, so first thing that we need to do is we need to set up our other button to have an action listener. We're going to do that below our labels and our text areas and all that good stuff. So our other button was called C, so we're just going to say C add action listener um, and then we're going to say a new action listener. Uh, I'm just going to say AC and then control space and then hit enter and that's going to add our action listener to us. We also have to finish off this uh, method by a semicolon down here after this parenthesis bracket. So what this action is going to do is once our C button is clicked, it's going to read what is ever, whatever is in our text field here and it's going to redefine our label. It's going to print out a different string for our label or set the text of our label to whatever we type out in our text field. So we, our text field was called text field. So we're going to type that out and we're just going to say dot and we're going to say get text. Pretty simple, right? Pretty cool method. It's going to return a string value for us. So whatever we type in that text field, it's going to get the text from that. Um, now, obviously, this isn't doing anything right now. And again, we have this error here. So all we're going to do is we're going to cut out our line of code here. Cut, um, paste. And we're going to delete our uh, J text field here. And then we're just going to paste um, above our class our text field and then just a semicolon and uh, now we've defined our text field and we set it up down here as a new text field and we can use it within this method here and all we're doing is we're getting a string from our text field so what we need to do is we need to set up a new string variable call this uh, string to something like that um, set it equal to whatever is in our text field now what we want to do is we want to change our label to have the same text as whatever this string is so what we're going to do is we're going to refer to our label, which we called label. Pretty awesome name for a label. And then we're just going to say dot set text. And we're going to set our text to the string uh, S2 that we just set up. And again, it's going to give us this error for our label. So we're going to do pretty much the same thing. Uh, cut and then make sure we define the same name, which was label. And we're going to paste it above our class and semicolon. Now what we have done is we've set up a string, it's going to read the information from our text field, it's going to get that text, and then it's going to set our label text to that string. Hopefully that made sense. Um, just a quick little tutorial there. So let's run this and make sure it works. Um, we have our text field here. We're going to change the text to awesome. And then we're going to hit our second button, which is C, and it now changed our, uh, our label to awesome as well. So quick tutorial about getting text and setting text methods that we can use on you know, text areas, text fields, stuff like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial. It was a quick one, and I'll catch you later. Have a good one.